Everybody, I'm going to be just uh, doing some random VR games that I've never played. I actually got these when they were on sale, really cheap, um, in October. But I was really sick, and these are the f this is actually the first time I'm I'm you know able to do VR without a hundred and three fever or whatever. All right, so this is supposed to be like. Um, like you're supposed to be on a safari, um, and you can feed these animals and stuff. I want to see how realistic this is. It was about a dollar ninety nine, so a dollar ninety nine. You really can't go wrong, either way. Great. Now you know how to make choices. At any time, you can press this share button to share stills or video of what you see, and you can press this options button to pause and restart the experience, and switch voiceover on or off. Go into the settings menu to see how to chat with your friends during Viri VR and play music with Spotify. Huh. Finally, to go back to the home page, just press any of these buttons on the front of your controller. L1, L2, R1, or R2. Try now. R2-D2. Welcome to... Please choose a landscape to explore. Hmm. Live. Wow, that's weird. You can see Africa live. Yeah, what's up, Big Easy? Merry Christmas, buddy. Thank you for all your uh, kind words and Please support. Say how you're feeling. This will show how engagement with nature improves your mood. How am I feeling? Am I peaceful? Sure. Tired, usually. Relaxed. Yeah. Sad. Uh, no, not sad right now. Energized. Mm. Stressed. Nah. Happy. Okay. Angry. Who isn't? Peaceful. <laughs> um, I don't know. Let's just say happy. We're going to go with happy. Because feelings are a choice, right? Let's choose to be happy, right? Why wouldn't you? We've seen a cheetah near here. To get her to come over to us, we've been given special permission to throw down some meat. So please shake your controller now. Good, we're in Kenya, north of the border with Tanzania. The kind of cheetah that lives in this region is called the Tanzanian cheetah. Now, people have loved cheetahs for centuries. So what do you think? Around the world, how many Tanzanian cheetahs are there living in zoos? About a thousand, none at all, or about a hundred? Wait a second, I didn't know I was gonna learn things when I was doing this. This might not, uh, great. Let's say a hundred. Zero feels like it could be a trap, so does a thousand, but a hundred seems like it would be the most sensible answer. So I'm going to go with zero. Yes, you're right. Yeah. Of course, there are other kinds of cheetahs in zoos, but the number of Tanzanian cheetahs is zero. And there are less than 2,000 of them left in the wild. But look, here comes one right now. Ah, oh, look at the kitty. You don't want none of that? So, the cheetah was too cool to eat our meat. Enjoy your holiday but too, buddy. Animals won't be Merry so Christmas. Cheesy. And we did get to see a cheetah up close. We've been told there are hyenas near here. Let's throw down some butcher's meat. Then maybe a hyena will come. To throw down the meat, just shake your controller now.
great. But let's give us some more. So please, shake your controller again. Now. And now, please shake one last time. Good. And now, we just have to wait. Hey, what's up, Green Lantern? Merry Christmas, buddy. Now look around. There's a hyena coming. Dude, so you saw a bumblebee, huh? Isn't it awesome? Oh my god, I can't wait to go see it again. Now, of course, the meat you threw down is not a whole dead animal, like a hyena would normally eat. It's just meat from a butcher. So the hyena may not want to take it. But let's see. Yes, she likes it. But will she come back and take all the meat? Let's wait and see. Now here's a question for you about people and what we think. You or I might love hyenas like our friend here, but what about people in general? Have people traditionally had a rather negative view of hyenas? Yes, no, or maybe? No, I was saying that you saw the Bumblebee movie. That's so awesome, dude. I'm happy you enjoyed it. it oh, man. I can't wait to see it again. I just... It hit so many nostalgic chords, dude. Oh, it's pretty clear, isn't it? Other animals, like lions and elephants, have been symbols of... Beauty. Yes, I agree. But in some ways, their unpopularity with people has actually been rather good for hyenas like this one. Many people love lions, elephants, and rhinos, so they've killed them in vast numbers for their skin, tusks, and horns. But it's been rare for people to kill hyenas like this one for her skin or teeth. Unpopularity with people is one reason why today hyenas like her are less endangered than other big animals in Africa. The other reason is she's clever, strong and fast and can eat almost anything. Including the meat you threw down for her. You've certainly improved her day. Hey, what's up, man? Watch her while she checks out the camera and the strange smell of humans all around it. Or use your controller to go back to the home page. That's awesome. That's so awesome. Bumblebee movie. Ooh. It's so freaking good. Thank you, Dark Warrior. Yes. Everything's going well. How are you doing? I hope everything's going well with you as well. And I'll say as well a couple more times as well. <laughs> I don't know why I just said as well so many times. That hyena is fat. Oh, that's cute. I've never seen a hyena this close. What the hell is a hyena? It looks like a half dog, half a... Uh... I don't know. Huh. Oh, Dill, what's up, Dill? Yes, I absolutely loved it. What is live? Live HD cameras. High definition cameras with night vision will virtually transfer you to Lua Conservancy in real time. Would you like to try them out for 15 minutes for free? Ah, uh, dude, the Bumblebee soundtrack. Oh, it's so good. So good. So good.
all the 80s music. Ah, oh, so good. <sighs> Let's try that. Welcome. Here you can see live HD footage, which is streamed from various cameras at the Lewa Wildlife Conservancy in northern Kenya. To start, please choose a live camera. <clears throat> yeah, it did so freaking good. Oh my god. I like the soundtrack. Uh, and Dill, I'm happy you liked it too. So two of my buddies liked it. And it looks like a lot of people are going to go see it. Back here. There we go. I thought the live would have been like virtual, but it wasn't. We've been told there are lions near here. To bring them out, we've been given permission to lay down some meat we bought from a butcher. To throw the meat, please shake your controller now. Very good. Now let's wait for the lions. It's now 30 minutes later. No lions. And they probably won't come out now. Because we've got something much bigger. Yo, I didn't know elephants ate meat. Look at that. Of course, elephants only eat plants, so this elephant is not going to eat the meat. But it does seem like she's fascinated by the smell of it. These elephants are completely wild. Naturally, they come across dead animals all the time, but they don't come oh, across shit. meat prepared by a butcher. So that's probably <laughs> why they find it oh, interesting. Oh, crap. That's a big one behind me. It's a freaking dinosaur and shit. Oh, no. No, no elephant balls. Stay there. No. Look around. You see, a mother has come with her baby. Oh, shit. This tells us that the meat doesn't worry the elephant. Oh, don't step all. Oh, this is not bring good. Her baby so close to it. This is not she good. It was a threat. Oh god. Uh, this is not good. <laughs> Whoa. Huh. <sighs> Damn, that's big. What's up, everybody? We just so had a... these elephants have had enough. Will any others come? Just Let's a... see. Yes. Look around. Here's another one who's fascinated by the meat you dropped. Oh, God. I don't want to see his meat. Damn, that thing is huge. It's a Look, it, it's a dinosaur. He's just picked up a stick. Now oh, that's like, not just any stick. Yeah, it looks like they have when like. When we were filming, we the, used the that stick as a target for dropping the meat. So now it's got our human smell on it. That must be why she finds it interesting. Yeah, like look at the hair on the. You see the, how the, she can hold a tiny stick with her trunk? The trunk, her trunk is also Ugh. strong enough to knock down a tree. It's got like ball hair on its trunk. Ah. All right, I'm good with the elephants. Look around. Here's another one. Where? Oh hell no! Come on. Now, of course, the body of an elephant like this is big. But what about her brain? Well, here's a brain teaser for you. 
Uh. Whose brain is heavier, an elephant's or a person's? Now see. Are they both about the same weight, or is an elephant's brain heavier, or is a person's brain heavier? I'm going to say the same because it, it, it looks like it would trick you. Like if you say person, it'll be wrong. If you say elephants, it'll be wrong. I'm going to say same. Booyah. Well, that makes a lot of sense, but it's not quite right. Try I'm... again. Yeah, what's going on, Soundwave? Sorry, you need to make a choice. Good thinking. Yes, you're right. Elephant brain. The average elephant brain is about three times heavier than the average human brain. It's a reminder of why it's so tragic that people have killed so many of these very intelligent animals. Roy, my brother. Years ago, How you doing, there were buddy? Between one and a half and three million elephants in Africa. And now, you might be surprised by the answer to this. How many elephants are there in Africa today? Ah, uh, Around another. three million? Around one million? Or less than 400,000? I'm doing good, Roy. Um, just trying out VR. All these games I had, I uh, downloaded a while ago. Uh, Dill says one mil. Uh, wait, one mil? Sorry, you need to make a choice or nothing will happen. All right, I'll go with one mil. I'm afraid the answer is E. Yes, Under I'm afraid you're right. Now, there are less than 400,000 elephants in Africa. Why are we still looking at elephant balls? Oh, shit. Seriously, I'm good with the elephant balls. Here's one last elephant who uh, wants to get up close to the meat. And yeah, the camera. we're gonna get up close to this elephant's meat. Ah. Uh. Bye. Go away. But what about the meat you threw down? Don't worry, it won't be wasted. Hyenas will eat the meat tonight, <laughs> once the elephants have gone. You got close to elephant balls. Is that like an Thanks achievement? For spending time with Please just say how you're feeling now. Has getting close to nature improved your mood? Think about using Viri VR as an everyday tool to help you relax and achieve a happier life. To see your moodometer results, please go to the settings menu and choose moodometer. Tell them how you're feeling. More happy, still happy, less happy, sad, angry, peaceful, stressed, relaxed, tired, energized, but there's no, there's no horny. I don't think I'm feeling horny after all that anyways, so it's probably best that they don't have that choice. I guess I'm uh, about the same. I'm st still happy. Want to join Very Club. It's free. I'll do that later. All right, so I'm going to uh, I'm going to switch to another game. So stay with me. You're going to get blue screened for a second, but it's not a problem. So just hang tight. You're going to see blue screen for a second.